Hello and welcome to what could well be my last video for quite some time. So, because Hibs, well, we don't have any competitive games now and after this game until the 15th of December, which is just over a month, a month and four days from recording this on the 11th. And I imagine this video will be going out at some point this evening. Anyways, um, yeah, so we're here today to look forward, or not look forward to, Kilmarnock versus Hibs. It's been a rough few weeks. Watching Hibs has been a rough season, really. <laughs> I mean, we're still just two points off third place, though, going into this World Cup break, which... Isn't the end of the world at all. Aberdeen are on 22 points. We're on 20. So the gap from 3rd to 8th. From the gap from 3rd place Aberdeen to 8th place St. Mirren is 2 points. Which isn't, you know, I mean it. Just shows we've got a very competitive league here. And it's, well, it's going to be a. Fascinating watch for anybody that's not got a team in the league. But, unfortunately, Sky don't decide to show them. Like, none of the games are actually on TV because Sky Sports only want to show two teams in this league. Anyways, I'll rant about that another, I'll rant about that another, another time. But this time, but now is not one of the those times. Because, right, now we are actually going to go and just look ahead to this game. Away at Rugby Park tomorrow. Starting with the form of the hosts, Kilmarnock. They are off the back of three back-to-back -back defeats to Dundee United, 4-0 away. Livingston, 3-2 at home. St. Johnston, 1-0 away. Then they beat Ross County 1 0 at home. Wait, was those, was those both at home? Or was this. No, those two were both at home. Then the 2 1 win against Dundee United. As for Hibs. Hibs. Our recent form, obviously, we all know. Come on. Obviously, last time out. 2-0 defeat to Ross County, a 4-1 defeat to Aberdeen, a 3-0 win against St Mirren somehow, a 2-1 defeat at home against St Johnston, and that 6-1 embarrassment away to Celtic. Anyways, uh, as for head-to-head -head between the two sides, basically, Hibs have won the last six. 1, 2, 3, oops. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Hibs have won the last six and were unbeaten in the last in the last eight. The last time Kelly won was September 2019, with Liam Miller and Mohamed El Macrini on the score sheet that day. And the last time we met was a one 0 win for Hibs back in September. A Joe Newell goal. After the Ash Taylor red card. Last time we met at Rugby Park. Was back in October 2020 in the Premiership. A Kevin Nisbet penalty was, was what it took to separate the sides on that occasion. And this time for team news wise. The injury list for Hibs looks like this. McGeady, Doyle Hayes, Nisbet, Miller, Boyle, Bojang, McCurdy and McGuinness. As for what I can see of Killies, it's Fasheen, Waters, Robinson and Kyle Lafferty is suspended. <clears throat> As now for my, for my Hibs 11... For this game, my hips eleven. 
is this. Marshall and that, obviously. With Rocky, Porto and Hanlon. Keeping with the 3 5 2. With Cadden, Kenner, Newell, Stevenson, Henderson, Kukrajevic, and Melkerson as the front two. I think that's the I think that's the team that Lee Johnson will go with tomorrow. Because well contentious positions. Centre so halves. I guess you could maybe have Will Fish or Darren McGregor. In place of one of them. Right, like right wing back, right back. Oscar McIntyre isn't going to play. Lewis Miller's injured. So you it was Chris Cadden. He's going to play. The midfield, Kenna and Newell Hendo. Uh, McGinnis is injured again. You've got Josh Campbell. Josh Campbell's the only one there that maybe could come in. I've not put in. Because Jake Dolhays is injured. Demi Mitchell, I don't know. I don't think he's going to play Shabriya. And I think there's a reason that Stevenson came on. Ahead of Shabriya on... On Tuesday. Because I think... Stevenson is trusted more than Shabriya now in this Hibs team. Just... Obviously, from what we saw with him coming on and ahead of Shabriya. So, I think Stevenson will start. I think Cadden will start. I think if you're playing Kenner, then Ewell has to play. I think Ewell's at his best when Kenner plays. But I don't think Kenner's good enough to play for Hibs. So... Because obviously, Ewell as the DM... So be playing Newell and then probably Josh and then Josh Campbell in there. I wouldn't be against that if that is what Lee Johnson goes for. But I wouldn't be I wouldn't be surprised to see Ali to see Ali Yuan start maybe ahead of Melkerson from what I've got there. But I think the bat I think the three centre halves to nail them as are the wing backs. It would be the midfield three and the two strikers that, for me, you could maybe change. Hmm. And then, I guess, it's score prediction time, which is the bit that I dread of every video that I do. Um, For this game, obviously, we should win. We should win. Should is the key word in there. Should win. Um, obviously on the artificial surface. I'm not even going to mention that Tory Lino. I'm not even going to mention, I'm not even going to, I'm not even going to discuss that. Because that's his own thing. I feel like he's going to have it in for both teams. Pretty good. Some dodgy decisions might be made. So leave VAR again. Mm, there'll be a watch along on this channel. At the moment, I'm. <coughs> let me rephrase that. There should be a watch along on this channel. I will let you know on the community tab tomorrow how I'm feeling about doing a watch along for this game. Because obviously, I put out on my social media that there was no. that there was no content ahead of the Ross County game. Obviously, because I was. I've had, I've had a bad cold this week. So. that's why there was no content for that game. And I'm just starting to go over it now and I don't want to make it worse again. Anyways, score prediction. 2-1 Hibs. But that's a very hopeful 2-1 Hibs. Anyways, thank you for watching and I will see you later. Goodbye.